Hello and welcome to your UI7 News Update. I'm Becca Wood. Today we'll cover all the latest national and local news. Due to the spreading coronavirus, students will now be taking their classes online. At a national level, President Trump is cutting off some international travel as we now face a global pandemic. Daryl Forges at the CDC with the latest. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. President Trump suspending travel from Europe to the United States beginning Friday at midnight. The restrictions will not apply to the United Kingdom. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings, and these prohibitions will not only apply to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. The president says he will soon be taking emergency action to provide financial relief for working Americans who fall ill, get quarantined, or have to take care of anyone infected by the coronavirus. Effective immediately, the SBA will begin providing economic loans in affected states and territories. I will be instructing the Treasury Department to defer tax payments without interest or penalties for certain individuals and businesses negatively impacted. Finally, I am calling on Congress to provide Americans with immediate payroll tax relief. Despite stocks plummeting into bear market territory Wednesday, President Trump says he expects an economic boom when the outbreaks slow down. People are leaving their homes. Uh, I think you're going to see a tremendous pent-up demand, which hopefully won't be in the too distant future. From the CDC in Atlanta, I'm Daryl Forges reporting. The Illinois Authors Exchange Campus Reading was, event was held at the bookstore on Wednesday. If the two speakers at the event son, were Luis Alberto Ueria and Megan Cass. Megan Cass is an associate assistant professor of English at Illinois' Springfield campus. Luis Alberto Ueria is a Mexican-American writer, poet, and novelist. This event is open to the public and audiences are clearly excited about the author. Um, he's an amazing storyteller, and um, I've never seen him read before, so to see him read or um, perform his piece from memory was incredible, and it was such a fulfilling experience to just see the words that I've read before come to life like that. After the speech, there was a signing session for audiences. People could share their thoughts with writers and purchase their books. This was an excellent event for anyone interested in art and literature. This week, the university has been celebrating International Women's Day, taking a special look at how women have shaped academia here on campus. As academics, we imagine a world that doesn't yet sometimes exist. And that's exactly what law professor Margaret Etienne and several others celebrated, women who have created an unimaginable world. Gioconda Perez is the Associate Vice Chancellor for Inclusion on campus. She told the story of Evelyn Branchard, her impact on music and politics. I think that this gives the opportunity for us. I learned a lot today um, from some women who are not recognized in the U.S., but in other parts of the world, and that really, you know, um, gives a different perspective. Chancellor Robert Jones also took to the podium to celebrate the women who have shaped his life, but also speak of the need for more women in all industries. Uh, I think we don't spend enough time recognizing the impact that women have had on the world. And anytime we have an opportunity to reflect back on the past as a way of hopefully stimulating women to know that they have folks that have come before them that have really transformed our society in multiple ways. The celebration has been going on for three years now, and it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. We have plans to continue. We've got an archive um, online that we've created that um, just keeps track of all the stories that we've heard over the past three years. And as long as we can get speakers on campus willing to come join us, we're going to have it every year. The event concluded with an opportunity to chat with the speakers over some light refreshments. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining. I'm Becca Wood, and this has been your UI7 News Update.